So we built the same basic robot and we've got the same control setup. I feel like we're not gonna make it over the first barrier with this, this type of robot, but let's just try here and see what happens. I feel like we're gonna need to actually make some sort of a device. Okay, no, so we're, we're definitely flipped over. What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with one of the two games that I haven't played in a long time and I'm gonna actually get back into because I really enjoy this game, Logic Bots, and it's been sitting there in my Steam library staring at me every time I go to play something else. We're gonna finish up both of these military courses today. I'm pretty sure they're remote control stuff, so it should be pretty easy. So we can finally start getting into these final two stages at some point in time, but uh, we're gonna keep going here with the house clear. I think, again, I think this is a very simple challenge. I think these are just build remote control bots. Uh, build a logic bot, which you can remotely control. Yeah, search every room. Three minutes. Robot cost. Without using any triple wheels. Okay, so that, that like, I mean, that's pretty simple. So we just have to go into this house and go into each zone. But it is remote controlled, so there's no real, real difficulty, I don't think. Do we have to go up the stairs at all? Oh, we do. Holy cow, there is a lot of rooms to check. So we'll just make a really simple, um, we'll just make like a sort of, I guess, like a six-wheeler. That way we should be able to drive up the stairs with the middle wheels. So we'll just have three sets of wheels, like three wheels on either side, you know, th I guess three sets total. Should be easy enough. That should be a pretty simple bot. And then uh, for functional parts, we've got a remote camera and RC receiver, so that's pretty much all we need. So remote camera... We'll just mount you right on the front because, uh, you know, that way we can see where we're going. And then we'll just put a remote control receiver. And I'm pretty sure, like, that's all we need to solve this entire thing. And then we just need to wire the whole thing up to some controls. Uh, what else do we got here? Debugging, functional parts. Yeah, nothing, like, nothing else we need, I think. Budget cost. Should be good to go. All right, so we'll put the framework down, put the RC receiver down. And this is pretty easy stuff. I remember this W, um, A, D, and S. Okay, perfect. Actually, you know, we can just do it this way. D there we go. Okay, so W, S, A, and D. And then uh, we'll just have some gates, really. So forward needs to activate both. Reverse needs to activate both and both the left and right motor directions. And then A activates them both. They Basically, all of them need to activate them both. It's just a matter of which directions they're going to con control. So uh, let's just hook up all of them into a series of OR gates there, which we can then use to activate both. So we can just do OR gate, OR gate, and then a splitter. It's a little bit ridiculous, but uh, oh, we're going to need splitters on all those too. And then every control will activate one of these four OR gate positions. Again, having to, uh, you know, link multiple OR gates. Each OR gate can only take one input. And then these both go into here. Now, luckily, there is no signal delay, I don't think. So the number of gates we use doesn't really matter. And then this goes to a splitter, and then this splitter goes to both of these on. So that way, no matter what we do, uh, both of those gates are going to turn on now uh for the actually for w we don't need a splitter because w it just uh we'll just route it over to here but w just turns them both on and, and doesn't reverse any of the directions so that's fine uh we'll get a couple more or gates here so we'll have an or gate for this one and an or gate for this one for the directions so if we go uh reverse which is s we then have to uh, activate both of these in reverse. So we're actually going to put a triple splitter on S here. So this is, you know, how we're going to wire up basically tank steering, but in logic bots. Okay, perfect. So that should be good. And then uh, for A, which is this one, if we go A, we have to reverse the left motor. So just really simply, we'll just take this, go all the way up top here like that. And if it's D, we have to reverse the right motor. And uh, we'll just We'll wire this. Sure, just like that. So I think we're good to go. Uh, we should be able to test this. So if we go A, D, we've got controls there, and forward and back. So we're, we're pretty much set. And uh, this camera's super jerky. All right, so let's do this. Remote control bot time. How much time do we have? Three minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, and uh, let's see if we can do it. Let's go. All right, This is e these are the easy logic bots when you can uh, actually control stuff. Okay. Check. Search. Next. 
This thing's great. It's like a remote control camera bot. I wish you had cameras in Scrap Mechanic. It's the one feature that Scrap Mechanic is missing. If we had the ability to have like little cameras in Scrap Mechanic, just to let you do stuff like this, like a really simple, you know, remote control type bot, it would be the best thing. All right, I think we gotta go. There's nothing in there. I think we gotta go here. And then, do we just go up? It's probably upstairs where that other white one is. Oh, nope. Kind of clipped the corner there. Okay, we should be able to make it up these stairs. Uh-oh, we can't. Oh, no, we can't. We can just kind of just kind of roll it side to side. This is a really slow... Maybe if we use the wider tires? Would the wider tires, the bigger ones, maybe make the difference? I can't really tell. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got some momentum now. Just kind of had to turn into it a little bit. The wider tires probably would work better. I mean, you just needed to get up the kind of turn left and right a little bit. It's got great response time, though, I mean, for, for tank steering. So it's really not that big a deal. Come on, stairs. You know, the stairs is going to be the longest part of this whole challenge, I think. Maybe the wide tires will do better. We'll, tr we'll try them next time. All right, come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. You can do it. Just keep the momentum up. So the triple wheels that they're talking about, those are like wheels that have... They're made for climbing stairs better, apparently. But like, come on. Don't get stuck. There we go. There we go. You got it. One more. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's this room. So I, I missed a room downstairs. That's not good. All right, well, let's just keep going. It's fine. We'll get that room after. All right, turn around here. I don't know where that checkpoint is, though. Where's that check? Okay, well, you know what? Three minutes is actually... Three and a half minutes is really not that bad. All right, we'll get this room. Perfect. All right. It's back room. Oh, this room. Okay, this room is, is a little sneaky room. Check, got that this room perfect okay one more and then wherever that extra little room is that i completely missed somehow okay how do so that's downstairs for sure can we just let's just go down here all right going down is significantly easier where is that room it should be like right here should it not is it this is it this? Oh, it's this right here. Oh, we're totally going to beat it anyways. Boom. All four objectives. Not even a problem. Within the 950 budget. Perfect time. All four. Time. Whatever. Not using triple wheels. So we're going to go do the assault course, which I'm pretty sure is just build the exact same robot. I, I don't think there's anything different. Um, build a logic bot which you can remotely control to complete the assault course. Must scale a barrier, fit through a pipe, and climb over or plow through some rubble. Must also stay inside the area marked out by the cones. 40 seconds or less. Complete the level without using any single 12 volt motors. Okay, so apparently we gotta do some stuff. Whoa! Okay, well at least it's remote controlled, but holy cow. Well, instead of pushing the rubble, can we just can we just clear it? Can we just go over it? I mean, I feel like that's probably the easier way to do it. This hard this is the hard part. How are we getting over that barrier? That's gonna be the most ridiculous part how to get over the barrier okay well let's see what we got for framework same thing uh okay uh, we'll put the snap lines back on it i don't know how we're gonna get over that that wall well let's just build the same thing to start and uh, we'll go from there so we built the same basic robot and we've got the same control set up so we can uh you know, if we look at the circuit board here, I've just wired up the exact same thing we did last time, and uh, we'll start with that, but I feel like we're not going to make it over the first barrier with this this type of robot, but let's just try here and see what happens. I feel like we're going to need to actually make some sort of a device. Okay, no, so we're, we're definitely flipped over. Okay, so we definitely, we need something that kind of sticks out and lets us get over there. Okay, so we'll just put... Uh, Put a right angle hydraulic piston. Okay, we'll rotate this 90 degrees. Uh, the other 90 degrees. And then, like, when we're tilted up, just extend it, I guess? 
Like, that's what I'm thinking. It'll tilt up, and then we can just push that thing, and it'll maybe fling us over. Um, okay, and uh, what, what do we need? We need uh, another remote control now. So the, each remote control only has four signals, but I think we can just do something like this. And go like this, and go like this. And then, like, you know, map this to something else. Like, let's say the one key. And do something like that. I don't know if that's... Is it working? How do we how do we check if it works? Let's take the camera, just, uh, rotate it 180 degrees for now. Okay, I'm hitting the one key. Okay. Uh. Um. What 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 what's going on with my piston? What is wrong with this piston? Okay, that's not. Okay, my, my piston's broken. Well, unfortunately, I placed a piston on the uh, creation because I was trying to test something. And now the game is kind of broken and I can't actually load into the level. You can see every time we try and load to the level, it gets stuck at this point. And, you know, the, the game still loads the menus, but I can't actually load the logic bot so i did notice there are a few creations on the workshop for this game that actually do have pistons in them but i wonder if something happened that broke the pistons but i'll, I'll contact the dev regardless and uh and see if he's still around but uh unfortunately it doesn't look like we're going to be beating the assault course because I, I can't actually load the map anymore, and of course, pistons are completely broken. Well, unfortunately, nothing really we can do there about that. Uh, the good news is that we at least were able to do the house clear, and the other good news is, of course, we do have the other two zones already unlocked, so it's not like we're required to beat the military completely. Um, I will try and contact the dev, though, just to see what's going on with that, because, uh, yeah, it, it, for sure, I can't load it no matter what I do now, because there's a creation on there that has it, and I don't really want to have to rebeat all these other levels just to get back to the same point uh especially because oh maybe nothing loads now this might be a problem maybe we maybe we're gonna have to beat all the other levels but regardless make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button anyways uh let me know of course what you think of this game we might act i might have to rebeat all these levels to get back to this point you know what let's just check real quickly before make sure we're not completely screwed here let's go to the first level of the contractors grass cutter does it load that would be that would be really oh it loads okay fantastic at least we can move on and do these levels it's a little bit unfortunate about this assault course it's now a permanently glitched level and we'll have to remember for the future not to use any pistons at all i will contact the dev and see what he says but make sure you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time Help.